Hey there, folks. What is up? What is up? How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to the crypt. As always, I'm Draven, your crypt host here. And I hope everyone's doing okay. And before I get started, hey, Scott, what's up? Yeah, Scott is always like, yo, I, I got that. Yeah, Scott, you must have great internet, man. <laughs> you always get it. Uh, or you always get the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, notification. What's up, bro? Oh, man. I always hate to start off with drama, but, you know, you got to. Hey, Haley. What's up, Haley? How you doing? Um, I was just in G-Man's chat. <laughs> and... um. What is with this the Sabala Shepherd person? What's her issue? What's her problem? You know, people were telling me in uh telling me in my Discord how they were being harassed when they would watch G-Man because some crazy racist weirdo that has a racist husband that says racist stuff kept timing them out because of their own uh messed up things. And I'm like, no way, really? And they were like, yeah, it's this racist weirdo, Sabala Shepherd. So I go in there and yep, <laughs> it's ex exactly as everybody told me. So at first I'm like, no, I can't believe that. So people are saying stuff, people are shouting people out. And I figure, hey, this is Shani for Christ we're talking about, right folks? So I shouted out mental illness. I said, hey, shout out to mental illness because she's Shani's mentally ill. Well, Sabala did not like that. No. She was like, Draven, we don't joke here. This is serious. And I'm like, really? And then she timed me out. <laughs> she timed me out. What a crazy person. And I'm like, what I didn't really do anything. So then I came back in and Sabala's telling everybody that Shani's about to get monetized. She's gonna be monetized. When she's monetized, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, yo she's never going to be monetized. Like maybe Sabal didn't watch my last video with G-Man, but we both talked about how Shani makes money here and it's not through monetization. It's through the PayPal donations. So I said that and guess what? I get timed out again. <laughs> so you know what? Unlike Sabala Shepard, I don't time nobody out here at the crypt unless you're like a troll saying I fake uh, diseases and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm pretty liberal about letting anybody come in. I don't care. Let them say I'm, I'm, I'm a stupid piece of crap. I'll say that. I can self-deprecate all day. But I, you know, I don't pull that garbage. So if Sabala weirdo racist wants to come in and explain the, the problems, all I'm going to say to her now is, Sabala, you might want to talk to G-Man because have you, if you – didn't notice uh, him and I are, I've been talking and doing videos together for quite some time. And you know what? You might be pissing him off by timing me out. So again, maybe you should ask him in the future if what I'm saying is worth a timeout or maybe you just don't understand the lore. Maybe you don't know the lore or maybe you don't understand my jokes because it's not that deep, girl. Maybe you need to like touch grass or whatever or, you know, go somewhere with your husband that's like away from the internet because uh it's not doing you any good and i'm just trying to help you because one day you might go to g-man's channel and your wrench is taken so that's all stop abusing wrenches people but on that payback is a bit right debbie i'll time around <laughs> well you see i can't control that yeah i know scott i oh my god why is everything about one person it's like, I can't even talk. I hate that shit. Oh, see, they made me curse within 10 minutes of the video. <laughs> but really, I hate that crap. And not everything I joke about is about another person. Sometimes it's about Shani. Most of the time it's about Shani. And I'm not going to sit around and play, you know, walk on um, eggshells, whatever, ice cubes. What is it? What's the term? You know, I ain't going to walk on that stuff. I ain't, I'm not walking on that period. I'm going to say how I say, and I hope, and I can understand though, what my viewers are talking about though, that they're getting attacked and harassed for no damn reason. Not everything is somebody else. That is paranoia. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's paranoia. And after a while, I'm like, you know, G-Man, like, I'll give you a like, bro. Hey, what's up, Cindy? But I got to go. I got to do my own thing. Hey, Shamu, what's up? Be nice or I be... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right? It's like, and I wasn't even talking about anybody. I was just talking about Shani. You know? 
like, oh, God, I guess I got to be like, hey, uh, she's a I'm talking about the fat ass. Oh, OK, you know, because like everything I don't like that. This is like high school bull crap all over again. Is that about that person? Oh, I got to time you out. If it's about that person, even if it isn't about that person, oh, I got to time you out. Hey, does anybody else have any Adderall? Just, you know, what I mean, cocaine. <laughs> That's how I feel, dudes. Like, I feel like. Sabala never peaked in high school, so she needs to like attack people in G Man's chat. But I'm gonna have a talk with G Man. Yeah, that that's that stuff is going to be settled because and I've already had a talk to him about this the, uh, the other day when he was on my channel. I said you you gotta watch out because people were coming to me saying they were getting timed out. And even someone uh this Rizla person who I don't really know, they said, Oh, Sabella playing uh you know, uh, wrench mommy again or something. And he was absolutely right. <laughs> I can't take it. Hey, Ty, what's up? It's just people are crazy, man. She's <laughs> yeah. Walking on eggshells. That's right. Oh, is she Cindy? Well, then that makes a lot of sense. Probably, you know, cause, um, you know, <laughs> there, they can't even do nothing because I didn't, you know, what? you know what folks, I need to make my own type of code here. Oh, there you are, Crash. What's up? I don't even understand what I was even doing wrong. Like, I can't even talk about Shani anymore without somebody saying I'm talking about another creator. It's like, it's so stupid. And I'm just, I'm just sick of it. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, Four Leaf, what's up? How you doing? But you know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm, I'm just, not everything is about somebody else. It's just about, it's about Shani, right? Everything is about Shani. There you are, Patty. Man, Patty, I'm so sick of this. But again, now I understand. You see, when people tell me, when they send me emails and stuff and messages saying that they're being timed out by this Sabala person, I'm like, really? For what? But you didn't say nothing. You know, uh, but you know what? Maybe this has nothing to do with another creator at all. Maybe just some people get power hungry with the uh, with the wrench. And I know over here, if somebody makes a mistake, they acknowledge it and say, oh, my God, I made a mistake. Let's get to it. <laughs> I'm sick of talking about her. Uh, all right. Let's, let, let me look at Shani's new look. I, I definitely want to check this one out. I saw this and I'm like. Um, okay. And so the funny thing, guys, is she, she, um, she deleted this video. And then like within a, like a day or a few hours, she posted it right back. So I don't understand if, um, if she cut something out, I don't think so. But look at that. Look at that mask. Ooh. I mean, yes, I know there's like some cat hair and maybe some shanty hair on it, but like, oh, come on. That's a little much, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know. You, you guys let me know. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Like the stream and let's have some fun, everybody. Let's laugh because that's what we're here for, for laughing purposes. <laughs> Put him on the map of entertainment, right? It's a good time. You know, Skippy actually, when we did the video, he, he reached out and was like, asked like, I want to do anything. And I, was, I could see her breathing. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just can't. Whenever we make videos about people, I'm like, no, I can't actually talk to you. I can't. Why? I cringe hard enough when it's like, you know, at a distance. But, uh, but maybe, maybe. From a distance. Oh, God. All right. Well, maybe. All right. Nice, let's, let's, let's just, no, that's let's, Bit let's Midler. Well, before we do, check out Buff Pro, Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch. Check out the, uh, or not Twitch, excuse me, just YouTube. And then check out the Twitch channel as well. Wings? Right. I don't know if that is. You ever know that you might be? No, I don't think it was that one. <laughs> Did you ever know that you're my something? You're hero. You are the wind beneath my wing. Because, uh, Man, she's so monotone. She's so monotone. Now, uh, in case anyone didn't catch my last uh, video, I just want to point that this out. I triggered her really, really, really bad. And I didn't even know that I was. Um, 
But uh, she gets really angry when I talk to G-Man or G-Man talks to me because she doesn't want G-Man to reveal her shanty secrets with anybody. You know, she's like an evil elf. And <laughs> so she got really mad and started to, uh, not deleting, but privating videos and stuff. And then she was talking about me in her community tab. And she put two videos back plus this one. Plus one that Rev did that I got, and thank you guys for letting me know that he deleted it. But there's a great archive channel, and I'll shout that archive channel out. Of course, I will do that. You know, I mean, I was going to make an archive channel, but I've just been busy with the move and everything. But uh, it's a good thing somebody else stepped in and did that. So I appreciate you, sir. But I will, when I, when the time comes, I will shout that out. Uh, uh, can you pause that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Is that a pillowcase? Sure. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that a, a pillowcase? pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is that a pillowcase? <laughs> right? It could be. It, it looks like one. Hey, folks, come on. Yo, you ever like go to a bank and see somebody like this at a bank and you're like, uh oh, I better make my deposit real quick because I, I don't know what's about to happen here. Either she's going to uh, rob the bank or demand a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I, I, either way, <laughs> it, this is this is just this is bizarre and this is bizarrely weird. You know what? You know what? Hold on. Hey, Shani, Shani, this is serious here. Serious Draven for one second. Shani. You know CPS watches these videos, right? You know what? Maybe I'll even put the serious music on. Because Shane needs to know that I am being serious here, folks. I am really being serious. She needs to know. Oh. There we go. Shani, you can't make videos like this if you ever want to see those kids, okay? Because you look what they would call unhinged. CPS wants to know how are you going to take care of those two boys? One with high functioning autism, another one that is just sick of the abuse and drama with you and your boyfriend. Yes, he's your boyfriend. You guys aren't married. You're not married. There is no common law marriage in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, what are you thinking? You know this is going to backfire on you when CPS sees this. And all, the only thing I can think of is you don't want those kids. You want to look as crazy as possible. So, you know, just don't be surprised when they deny you. And I'm glad. I don't want reunification. You know, that might be a horrible thing to say. But if anything, you know, I would never deny a parent to see their children. Even people in prison get to see their children. I think you should have it like that supervised visits with a, another worker so they know that the stuff that you're talking about is not age appropriate to them. The kids don't need to know about your YouTube drama. They don't need to fix your YouTube drama. Okay. So you can get some donations. You, so you can smoke some Delta eight. You're begging your older son to make videos to say that you were a good mom. You did all you could, but you're just in pain. You know what? You weren't in pain when you went out with G-Man to the Walmart. You weren't in pain when you came here from Colorado, but you're in pain now. And, and again, it's probably anxiety, guilt, and that's fine. But at least please, please say it, it's that. Don't say it's some mental illness or cancer, how dare you, or anything else besides obesity and your laziness. But that's it. That's all I want to say about that. We can continue. I'll say that. It's a pillowcase. Yo. Man, you hear how hard she's breathing? Am I doing all right? No. I'm not doing good. I'm doing awful. How's it going? Trying to live. Trying to survive. This world, this horrible world, this dystopian world, 
The world's what you make of it. Nice makeover, thanks. Thanks. I enjoy it. <clears throat> no, I don't think that would cheer me up. What do you need? Nothing. Hmm. You sound like you have a cold or maybe. And I, I just wanted to make sure everyone understands that she makes these videos to get PayPal donations. She can never be monetized. Shani knows at this point that when, when she tries to get monetization, the channel gets taken down. I know about eight channels that are on right now that have 3,000 subs, 5,000 subs either, even, and they're not monetized. They get Streamlabs or PayPal or Cash App donations, and that's how they survive because they know once they try, that's when the shutdown will happen. So unless Shaney said does something or say something really, really bad, she really can't. She can just – it's weird how YouTube works. You can just kind of – like, you know, be under the radar, so to speak, as long as you don't hit, try to monetize. Because, believe me, once she does, the channel will be taken. Personally, I don't know why she's just still not on Rumble. You know, G-Man was saying in the, the, in the last video something about um, she can't beg for money. And I, I don't think that's true. I think she can beg for money, but I think she doesn't – she thinks that she has a broader audience on YouTube than on Rumble. Maybe you just woke up. No. Just sick. In the head. <laughs> a muffin? What about a muffin? Oh, I, I mean, hey, if you want to pay for me to get some coffee and muffins, I'm in. <laughs> I'll go do some Dunkin's. Mm -hmm. You know? You can go to Cash App and, you know, Dollar Sign, uh, Shanny Dorn. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Unless she's, like, can't breathe at all, like, what is the issue here? <laughs> you know, what is the issue? But personally, that, that, I can't, I can barely look at the screen right now, folks, without trying to go grab some uh claritin like honestly i cannot look at the screen because that 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 hair on her on her mask makes my throat itch so so bad and i, I wonder like is is she like like what is the reasoning of this like oh well, you can't see my face even though red did a face reveal <laughs> on this video later on it doesn't make any sense folks and like i said it's all shani does this to have people talk about her she's been doing this like this this whole time she hasn't changed. I still think it's funny though. And that's what some of these other creators don't understand. That Shani does these things over and over and over. Like I could literally write a book with the amount of things that Shani does and will do because she does this the same thing over and over again. But I still think this is kind of ridiculous to what she's doing here. Or you go to PayPal and it's <laughs> Shanny <laughs> needs love. So once Shanny needs love, <laughs> that's the PayPal, and then the Cash App is Shanny Dorn. D O R. Hey Rebecca, what's up? Hey Sil Silves, how you doing? Uh You need bomber. Jeez, man. Why do you feel like you're entertaining enough for that? And not a malicious, but I'd like a muffin too, and my life is pretty trash too. I could easily Uh well you know, Crash, I'm I want everybody before they leave, uh, maybe put in the comments section. I want to start doing some of the uh, true crime stuff, but I want to know before I, I start that. I want to know which one the most people would be interested in. I, I, I watch Law and Crime Network, and there's a couple that I've been following, 
but I want to make sure like what the majority of people be into. And then basically when that goes, I'll just like watch that while it's live and then we can talk about it. That's my plan. Um, and this, I just did this for, uh, you know, because like basically an update because this is kind of a rebuttal to my video I did with G-Man the other day. You know, like I did that video, the next thing, next thing I know, she's doing this. <laughs> I believe vlog and big, but it's demeaning. But I, I understand, man. And like I said, uh, I, I have some stuff planned for, uh, for uh, more, uh, you know, just to change things up, you know, a little bit. Well, maybe you don't got the guts to do it, Nine Lives. I don't give a fuck, Autumn. It just shows how fucking crazy they are at the end of the day. It really does. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? e -begging. Well, you know, I'm not e -begging. Ugh, Any fun plans for the day? Yeah. Lying on my back, recovering. Recovering from what? <laughs> I don't care. Go argue with the fucking wall, weirdo. Yeah, I understand comments are off because of harassment. It just sucks the normals can't say anything. Yeah, man, they just want a reaction, and I really don't care anymore, man. I don't care. Ah, oh, man. I got no story times anymore. I got, I got nothing. No thoughts. Nothing. Oh wow! I can actually see Rev in the in the glasses reflection. I mean, you know, I didn't get to really really watch this uh, yesterday, so this is this is kind of fascinating to me. All because I I talked to G Man and she makes this video. I don't I don't understand that. Like, what's the, what is the problem? You know, did I, did he expose you more than you've been exposed? No, you still won't admit anything. So I don't understand why, you, you know, this whole cloak and dagger bull crap. Like, you know what I mean, folks? Like, I don't, I don't get it. And I wish I would understand why, why she's doing what she's doing here. And, you know, I thought we had a, a great conversation. And just so everyone knows, I, I, I gave Shani a link. I said, here, you want to talk? You want to talk to G-Man? You want to talk to me? You want to uh, refute any of G-Man's claims? Come on. I'll give you the chance I give everybody else. She doesn't take it, of course. I am completely drained of all energy. <laughs> Let me just say. All right. Let me see if I can get her on. Here we go. <sighs> so, I mean, hey, I'm going to do up? my own thing. And, How you doing, Chef and, Angelo? Like, not let people get me down. Because, see, I have Jesus Christ, and he's <laughs> my king, and he loves me, and I love him. And he is awesome. Um, this is God. I've been ghosting Shane for the past six months. Don't tell her. I don't want her to find my new phone number. Oh, okay. God, no problem, dude. <laughs> so even God is hiding from her, folks. Uh. Oh, look, she's lifting her leg up. The rest of, her restless leg problems. <laughs> mm -hmm. That I Sorry, definitely you're do not, not believe. Sorry, you're not feeling good. Yeah, man. I'd have neither moon bear. I don't want lawn eyelashes or lawn nails. Those things get in the way. You two got a combined IQ of porridge. Really? Really, lyrics? How do people measure the IQ of porridge? I'm just wondering. Can you please give me the scientific journal of when they measured the IQ of porridge lyrics. I'd really oh. like to see that. Oh, well, uh, I was just sent something from Patty. Uh, Patty, thank you so much. 
Uh, she just gave me the rules of rumble, and I can say right now, I was mistaken. Uh, number three says you may not post anything that uses trademarks. Number four says you may not interfere with another use, user's use of functionality. And number eight is you may not use the forum to conduct or solicit the performance of any illegal activity or other activity which infringes the rights of others. So maybe that is why uh, she doesn't want to use a rumble to do this bullcrap because for some reason YouTube kind of allows it even though she's ban invading. But Rumble won't. Just so I can know, you know, if I do have like half the IQ of Porridge. <laughs> oh, number six. No request. Why are donations. you all bundled up? Because life is hell. And I'm in hell, Krista. Would you like to join? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, number six, you may not post or transmit any message pertaining to charity requests, petitions for signatures, requesting do donos, relating to pyramid schemes, or pertaining to the manipulation of the Rumble service. Now, again, this would be that, you know, providing that Shani actually read these uh, rules, but it does make sense. I mean, G-Men said the other day that she knows she can't do that on Rumble. I thought Rumble was supposed to be a more free platform so i really am surprised but you know what i guess you know facts are facts in me uh, <laughs> if it has raisins it's 190 nice it's pretty high iq so <laughs> yeah you know what Ezra, I agree. IQ is such BS. Invented by a bunch of 18th century British <laughs> yeah, eugenicists. It was, you know, a lot of the stuff we do today was from so long ago when there was no computer or any type of social media. So you got to think about that when you look into stuff like, uh, stuff like that. But I agree. It doesn't mean anything. Just like those speed tests you do online, you know, it's, Sometimes I need to sit there and read what the, what kind what they want you know, what they want me to answer. You know what I mean? So I definitely agree with you. I don't think an IQ test measures anything better than anybody else. You know what I mean? Some people also just get lucky. Is Rev alive? Huh? <laughs> yeah. He's well, back hello. there. <laughs> oh, it was Patty. He turned the heat off on y'all. Why do you assume that, Krista? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because you're uh, all bundled up. But yeah, Patty says one of their videos was taken down by the Rumble for eBay, and that's why they were in Rumble timeout for three days. They made a new YouTube. I didn't even know that they that they were in a Rumble timeout. But you know what? I believe it. I believe it with these two. And you know what? This definitely goes back to my video the other day. If they can't pay the uncle to stay at his house, then how are they going to survive? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. If, if they can't do anything, I, I can't see the uncle keeping them here for much longer. Well, when was the last time? Six months. So, and they've been here since what, November? So November, December, January, February. Okay. I'll call it right now, folks. I will call it right now. I give it May 15th, okay? That's me. Someone put that down. Draven says May 15th. They will be out of here before May 5th or after around May 15th because that will be six months from November. Could you guys thumbs up if you're watching just a nice thing to do for anyone? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Darcy. Would you rather have hot celery for the rest of your life or cold steak for the rest of your life? Cold steak. Probably the cold steak. Protein's <laughs> kind of a little more important than celery, I guess. Calorie deficient. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. You can see in the mirror glasses. Ooh. <laughs> I can't stop staring at the uh, mask, personally. But, man, like, you would think, all right, I'm about to go live. Oh, my God, this mask has got hair all over it. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should uh, clean off this pubic hair before I put it on. Oh, you know, never mind. Oh, well, I'm running out of time.
<laughs> so. Mindless animals sit in their own ways and blame others. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she can't breathe as it is, you know, folks? <laughs> Why would she wear a mask if she can't even breathe? Just, just go into the bathroom. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand it. Or, hey, maybe, maybe she got COVID, you know? That's a possibility, right? <laughs> I prefer this. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> she looks better. <laughs> hey, Mr. Unite. <sighs> Is that a hickey on your neck? Yeah. Where? Jason was just like sucking on my neck all night long. Where? All I see is is neck fat. Where is there a hickey? I mean, hold on. You go. Let me play it because I, I don't see a hickey. He was just a leech. Oh, I do. Is this the face reveal? Yeah. Ew, what is that? You guys see that? Uh, down here? You see that right there where I'm pointing to? I do see that. This is how my real life face looks like. Do your feet ever hurt? Yes. Hey, Shani, what should I do to prove that I've changed and found the way of Christ and I feel bad for treating you wrong? Uh, I probably would say that you're a clout chaser and you're full of shit. What is all over your mask? Cat hair. Yeah. <laughs> Looking filthy as usual, I know, right? I enjoy looking filthy. I'm dirty. <laughs> oh, is it? You're a May. Oh, that means you're, uh, what's May? Man, is Bells in here? She would know. Isn't May a Taurus, right? I think it's a Taurus. Oh, it's a Taurus of a cheesecake. <laughs> so, like, you want, like, a cheesecake in the shape of boobies? Or, like, a booby picture cheesecake? You know what? Let me see if I can <laughs> work out something for you, man. Dirty, man. Dirty bitch. <sighs> right? <laughs> Could you yeah, why even wear that? Because I can. Hey, Lamar, what's up? So there's no way to prove myself. No. No. You know what, Chef Angela? I was just thinking Sorry. that. Sorry. As some people... Come on, man. She's 39 years old. I mean, I, sometimes I want to like write a book of, of her lore and give it out to these newer creators and be like, here, here's everything you need to know. <laughs> Please try to, you know, keep it factual. You know, but I guess right now, I guess it doesn't matter. But this was back when we were fighting her to get those kids in a safe area or, uh, you know, safe, more safety than what was, you know, around them. Now the only problem is those two cats. I, I, I wish that Shani would try to do something about the cats. You know, isn't that funny, by the way, that she could talk about Foodie Beauty and her cats. But when you say, well, Shani, well, what about your cats? You know, your people are sending you food to make sure that they get fed. Uh, they, last time they were, t they were pooping in the uh, bathtub because I... You fool me twice, shame on me. But yeah, I, think, I ain't I gonna see be the fooled gray. again. And we can see the rest see of that. the uncle's house in your glasses. Oh my god. Because it's like I'm showing something that you haven't seen a billion freaking times. Miss Moonbeard, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Um, hey, if anyone doesn't know, Miss Moonbear and I, I, I don't know yet on um, which channel, but uh, we're gonna do a video. And Crash, you definitely should check that out because you know what? That's definitely going to be different, and uh, it's uh, on a whole different type of drama. <laughs> but we are going to definitely be doing a video very, very soon. But what's up? I haven't seen you in a, in a bit. You got to check your Discord. Games. <sighs> I wear my cat hair with pride. Me too. How am I doing? Good. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's true. Uh, Haley, uh, the 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 channel is called the Losers Club. It was nobody gaming, and now it 
it, it's changed to the Losers Club. So if you guys can't find it in Nobody Gaming, normally um, the the algorithm will automatically bring you there. But if it doesn't, uh, just type in the Losers Club and you'll see the stupid white face. You no. In your yeah, mouth. I thought so. Oh, hey, Chance. Mary it's Jane. Ah. Awesome. Shanny needs a job. Yeah. Oh, there okay. You are. Alice, what's up? <laughs> Sometimes. You hungry? Get in there. And get in there. Oh, God. Every fucking time I'm on, you say the same stupid bullshit. Get over your fucking selves. Job, ban evasion, blah, blah, blah. It's the truth, though. Holy shit. <laughs> See, I have a lot better time when I'm offline than when I'm online. I'll just be honest. Because, see, when I'm in my real life, I can be me and not have stupid people try to judge every little fucking thing because they're trying to get one. Uh, it's the same channel. They just changed the name, Danica, to a Losers Club. One up on me, even though yeah, I'm not in you. competition with anyone. See, uh, I don't care. This is still on their channel right now. Uh, because that's boring. That's annoying. <laughs> Well, you know what? At least I get to see her, like, I see what she does when she makes these videos. Like, I could see she's reading the comments with her big left uh, hoof, and she's holding the phone with her right hoof. So <laughs> I was wondering how she does this. Now I know. You know, going online reminds me of the Bible. Yo, you're right. You 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 are right, um, channel six nine. Thank you for saying that. She just said that is not um, gray hairs. That's when she's bleached it. You are so right. So uh, it's right there. No, that's the ends of the hair when she's colored and bleached it and damaged it. Yeah, uh, it definitely looks like damaged hair. I agree with you. When it talks about the accusers of the brethren accusing day and night without rest. That's what it reminds me of. You think people would get over themselves? Move on with What's your up, life. What's up, cats? Yeah, you are. Tr you know what? I was I was looking at a thing that I did a, a video of over a year and a half ago, and nobody matters but cats was in there, and I'm like, oh my god, you've been here this a long time. You've been a follower a long time, and I just wanted to say thank you, nobody matters but cats. I really, really appreciate. Uh, your viewership for that long. Trying to say I'm drunk, so shut up. How about you go to Carrie's channel? She's usually drunk. So I'm the left side of the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like, like, uh, what is that up here? There's some black spots. I don't know if that's her tattoo or whatever. Her wasp tattoo. Um... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, like it looks like she put a uh, rubber band right here and it swelled up really bad and it never healed right. I agree. <laughs> uh, how are the kitties good? You, you know what, uh, Shamu for Christ? I bet you she's got a, uh, a free plan. She has to. At this point, one of those, you know, what are they called? Uh, Obama, Biden phones, whatever. <laughs> one of those phones. Um, I'm sure she's got one of those. But um, I don't know if, if the uncle's given them anything. I, mean, I heard he doesn't have the best job right now. I mean, as, as G-Man's telling me. 
and uh, she was getting some money from Twitch the last time. And I don't know if she gets anything from Rumble. I mean, basically, everything right now is just donations, donations, donations. There's no monetization at all with these videos she makes. <sighs> That's facts right there. Yeah, they're going to analyze everything because they think they're doing something for humanity by analyzing some mentally <laughs> ill, disabled woman. <laughs> they think they're doing so good for humanity, just constantly badgering a, a mentally ill, disabled woman. <laughs> okay, do you have any paperwork that says that you're mentally ill or disabled? I, I, I know, Crash. I... <laughs> 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Crash oh. Kuderkut donated $5 through bucks. Super Chat. I, I watched the video the where you were first introduced so to Shani and Reverend the other day. I I know. It's so cringe, man. I, I can't even watch that. <laughs> you know, Crash, like, my hair is longer, and I had no idea who they were, and I had I didn't know anything. And I got slowly sucked into this mess. <laughs> but when I look back, I'm like, oh my God, it's terrible. I tell Renee all the time, like, can you delete this? And she won't delete it. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's scary, though. <laughs> I hate looking at old videos. <sighs> Aren't you with an alcoholic? Yeah. She shames me constantly. I don't know what your problem is. What's your problem? She shames me for being mentally ill. Why can't I shame her? Whatever. I don't care. You deserve it? No. She deserves it. So, go bust on someone else. I don't give a fuck. And like, I, I just wish that everybody was here years ago when Shani was just like... You know, like she's actually pretty tame, folks. For this type of shanty, but you, you guys don't understand. Two years ago, she was nasty when she thought that she had the world at her fingertips and she could do whatever she wants. She was as racist and sexist as she wanted to be. It didn't matter. We were all peasants. If we drank water, we were peasants. You know, God was going to uh, kill all of us because she's the anointed one. She doesn't really talk like that anymore. It, it's so funny that poorness really humbles a person. I mean, I, I, I would know. I was poor for a while back in the early 2000s, and yeah, it sucked. <laughs> and that's why when I, spent, when I saw her videos in 2019, 2020, I'm like, oh my God, she... she well, she's mental, but in a different way. Not in a way that, you know, she should get money from, uh, from the government. <sighs> And I ain't telling people my personal business no more. Uh, uh, they're all coming in in drones, man. They're all coming in in droves. Because they have no life. They have <laughs> no life. I, really, I feel like some of these trolls are really messing with Shandy's head. And again, it's, it is definitely warranted. She's done a lot of messed up things. The worst things to her, to, to her own children. I agree with that. But before she actually would come into the channels and, you know, and she would say why she's doing this, that, and the other thing. She doesn't really do that anymore. I feel because she's just getting attacked this way and that way, left and right. And she just doesn't trust anyone to have them on her channel. Or to go on their channel. But you got to watch when Shani goes on a channel. Because if she can uh, get naked real quick and get your channel taken down, she will do that. She tried with me. They have no life. They always come in the droves. They come. They always come in the droves. They come. They always come in the droves. They come. Because they have no life. <laughs> they have no life. They want to go and harass you. They want to go and punish you over everything you say. Because they have no life. 
They have no life. Silly, silly Shanny. <laughs> you know, like seriously, I, I, I understand where people are coming from. They don't want to deal with her. They don't want, you know, she's awful. I think for most people, if she would just try to make a change or admit faults, that would be enough. Certainly enough for me. I know I'm not perfect, so I can say, okay, I made faults before. And I think to a lot of people, that would be a that would be acceptable. I don't know what that thing was, but Crash said, yeah, that Renee was doing Shandy for Life thing long before Shandy for Life. Yes, we did, Crash. And uh, after that, people were like, you gotta do more. But then... Uh, Renee started to get busy and she was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't get her to do anymore. But, uh, you know, every once in a while, you know. But I'm glad Shane for Life actually stepped up and did that because they needed somebody to do that on a regular basis. I think for Renee, she just, you know, she doesn't want to be constantly mean, even though, like, Shane was awful to Renee. She said some really nasty things. Hey, Mara, Mary, post a hi, everyone. First time in chat, but subscribe for a while. Well, what is up? Welcome to the crypt. We have fun here. I watch videos with people and I comment. Mary Jane, how you doing? Yes, Mary Jane. Sabella is a power trip. And I don't know what her problem is. I was not even talking about anybody. I was talking about Shani. And immediately it was like, ah, oh, you need to be timed out. Like, okay. Sure, racist. Wait, did I say that? <laughs> okay, so um, Rev made a video, and yes, of course, folks, he uh, deleted it. But there's this great channel. If um, if anybody ever wants to watch a, a video and they don't want to hear my stupid commentary or anybody else's stupid commentary, you can check out this channel. So please do. I recommend. I don't know them. Um, but I love to shout out people. I think, you know, I always love to pay it forward. They are called Graveyard, Graveyard Flowers. And they only have a hundred, you know, I'll subscribe here too. But they only have like 190 subs, so like a small channel. But they are definitely doing the, the Lord's work and getting the, uh, getting the stuff before it's Yeetus Deletus. So if you want to check them out, there's a lot of, uh, videos here that they just you know delete really quick so if you ever if you ever miss a video or want to talk about a video or do something like this just check out this channel give them some love say that draven sent you pete's actually because i feel exactly like pete's when i get on this stupid fucking thing and i start looking for jobs Number one, my anxiety goes to about 750,000 miles per hour immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Rev, 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 this month has been so much anxiety for me. I thought I was having a, like a mini breakdown. Just because getting everything, getting the kids into schools, that, that's not overnight, folks. Anyone who, who's done that before, you, you know what I'm talking about. Finding out the garbage when the, they pick up around here. You know, is there any jerk off neighbors around here? You know, it's like the typical when you move somewhere. That you don't know anybody or anything. What's in town? Where's the local store? You know, like, is there anyone an a-hole over here? And you you guys did nothing. You left more than half of your stuff. Most of the stuff we got from that house, that shitty house that I was living into, that old ass house, we, we took with us. Except for the stuff that had uh, mold in it because surprise, surprise, our basement had mold in it. I only found that out recently. When our water and my lamp sit, and I was like, "All right, that's loud." 
animal's sake because my son has a has a cockatiel and it would have broke my heart if that little and yeah, they don't care about that they he doesn't care about um you know the children or how they would feel about moving and stuff like that but here let, let's get back to why he can't do nothing and why he's such a piece of crap like just doing a fucking die and mentally wrong with me yeah it's called your spoiled brat your mom messed you up bro and now you see that mommy figure in big old shanty that is what's wrong with you okay that's your problem and until you understand that you're never going to change so if you want to change rev just get get out get out you know, because obviously you, you got some, some mental issues, but I can't believe you had that much money and you don't even know how to even like get like, you know, these days you can get $15 an hour working at McDonald's, but no, he's too good for McDonald's. And I really mean this and I need help. Who, what kind of loser hey, just Sandra. starts shaking yeah, right? like a leaf and some a fucking moron uh, shaking like a leaf just, just to look up jobs. Oh, you do? Oh. Looking for stuff, right? And the ones that I keep, the ones I'm pulling up, it says one, one year mandatory <laughs> oh experience. Gosh. You need one year experience, one year experience. Crash, I hope not, you know, because you're going to move over your hand. And... In Dude. Customer service job. That's. You know what I mean? I want an entry level customer service job. Is that so much to fucking ask? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I can work with this, folks. I can work with this. He wants an entry level customer service job, and then he'll be able to do whatever. Okay, okay. Well, Rev, if you really do, you got to put your stuff out there. There is websites that can help where you put your stuff out there, show what you can do, and then people will pay you for said stuff. You know, like even my logo and stuff, you know, before I trademarked it, I had help doing that. And that's something that you could do for other people because a lot of people don't know the intricacies of JavaScript and all that. So why don't you do that? You know, there is plenty of websites where you can get a little side cash just making up a website for somebody. He doesn't try. That's the problem. He'll try when it's like, you know, when Shandy wants him to do something, but for himself, he won't. And that the only reason this video is here is because Shandy. And it, it, I feel like he's trying to tell Shandy, not the audience, I can't do this because of my anxiety or whatever. Well, then, Rev, if that's the problem, then you got to get on to some disability. But I don't think you should because I've seen you do things. I mean, why can't you just mow lawns? Why can't you throw news, uh, sell newspaper on the highway? There's things you can do, man. You know? Being a janitor said that because I felt that way. I was thinking about that a little while ago. Go find the janitor. a janitor job. <laughs> McDonald's? I don't want to work at fucking McDonald's, man. Dude, beggars can't be choosers, Rev. Come on. Oh, I want to a job so bad. A call center would be perfect. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to keep looking, I guess. I feel really... Right? I hate myself. Do you understand that? I actually hate myself. How do you get past that? How do you get past hating yourself and not, not, not having... Uh, I, I didn't learn any of this shit, guys. Uh, go to meetings, man. You got, you got some, some meetings. You... Oh, is it? <laughs> that's, that's weird. All right, hold on. 
Hey, you want to know what's trending on 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 Twitter right now? What's trending on Twitter? Jesus is coming soon. You know, this is just like what G-Man said the other day. Didn't he say this? Didn't he? Or didn't he say when Rev's trying to talk about something, Shania will be like, "Jesus, blah, 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 blah. like, uh, what does that have to do with the price of gas?" <laughs> it doesn't. Poor Rev here is trying to like pour his heart out, and he's none of this is to any of us. It's really to that woman that's talking about Jesus is coming to him, but she doesn't listen. Because anytime Rev makes these videos, Shani's staring at the screen. That's wonderful. So good news. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus is coming soon is trending on Twitter. I don't know, dude. Whatever. I'm really extremely just frustrated. Because oh, I'm sick Rev. of living like a goddamn bum. I don't want to be a bum. Period. Well, then don't. But it's like everything is a deal for me. I need help, dude. I need mental help. And I, I could just keep saying this all day, every day, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Now I'm expected to step up. I'm supposed to be getting a fucking job. And I don't know what the fuck to do. Wow. Okay. It's like people say, just go to McDonald's, just do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. L let's talk about that for a second. Chef Angelo. She, he says, Shinny will sabotage or whatever Rev is trying to do. I agree, bro. And I'll take that even a step further. If say Rev did get a job, say if he did, right? He, he gets a job and maybe at Walmart and maybe he tells people he did cause he's so excited. I bet you the first day that he works, I bet I guarantee I guarantee it. I can all but guarantee it. I, I would bet money on it. What's gonna happen? Shanny's going to call him. What are you doing? When you get your lunch break, I'm hungry. Are you cheating on me? Like you know it would be like that all day. She would mess with him. So I don't even know why she plays this game of you need to get a job. When he don't want a job, because folks, that's exactly that's exactly what would happen. I agree with Chef Angelo. She would sabotage you. You know it. Do that. Just do that. Fine. Yeah, maybe I will. And I'll fucking walk to McDonald's <laughs> to work. How about that? That's ever what everybody would want to see. It okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Hey, Rev. Rev. All seriousness. You want a job? go to a work program okay it's not going to be the most glamorous it's not going to be the greatest but you like me like everyone in the chat like everybody in the world has to start somewhere and your start's going to be at the bottom okay no matter who you are who your mom was how much money was given to you you're going to start at the bottom and then for uh, through sheer, you know, um, persistence, you will work your way up. That's what life is all about. If it's given to you easy, dude, you're not going to respect it. Why haven't you figured this out yet? And then, you know what? You got to do a couple of those crappy jobs. You don't have to be there forever. This is a starting point, Rev. And I bet you that first week's First two weeks, because it usually takes about two weeks, that first paycheck will feel so good, man. It will. It'll feel so good because you never had one before. It'll suck then to pay the, <laughs> pay the taxes. <laughs> but still, it's better than just sitting here being like, I can't do nothing. Dude, go to a work program. They'll probably get you a job within a few days. Is me being like that. So, yeah, that's cool. Maybe that's what I'll do. Cause I'm just, I, 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 I'm, I'm so, right. I'm done with living like this. I'm done. So something's got to change. So the way <laughs> to change it is, yeah, yeah okay. just do what everybody else does because maybe you'll like it, right? Yeah. Maybe you'll like it. Just go get a job at McDonald's and see if you like it. Just go to Walmart and get a job at Walmart and stock shelves or something. And yeah. And you know what? I also side note if he did get a job at a food establishment like a mcdonald's or something then he could bring home dinner you know 
<laughs> he's got a pig at a home, but he'll be bringing home the bacon. Whoa. <laughs> but st- seriously, though, folks, I think he would like that. He could bring home money and food. And Shani has nothing to say. See, Rev, you'll understand the seniority that you will get. You'll understand the power that you will have if you can bring home an honest day's wage and some food, some foods. Because then Shani can say nothing to you, Rev. You should really try it out, even for a couple of weeks, even just to get one the, the first paycheck. Isn't it better to say you tried than, uh, I don't know, I, I'm kind of anxious. Man, I wish that would work for me. Oh, I'm telling you, folks, if I was living like this, I probably never would have moved and I would have I would have died in that other house <laughs> with my family because you need persistence in life. Like seriously, right? Like no hate. You got to be persistent and see if you like it. That's the, the right? That's what everybody every hmm. normal person that had a normal parent that forced them to go out and get a job now oh okay okay i see what this is about all right so it's you it's your mom's fault really rev really because i don't have a normal parent dude everybody's got parent issues everybody everyone's everyone i've ever met in life has had an issue you know, their mom or their dad said some nasty comment, off backhanded comment, and they're like, oh, ho, ho. oh, you really think like that? Well, you know, you're a piece of... Uh. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, though. Like, Rev thinks that th- this stuff only happens to him. Rev, it happens to everybody. Oh, yeah, right? Raccoon Man, that neck thing. You know, you know what that neck thing So, And I'll say it. I've been saying it from day one. It's, it's from whatever he was doing. And maybe when he was born, maybe uh, the maybe the birth wasn't right when he came out and his neck was pulled in a weird way. Or who knows? Maybe his mom used to pull his neck. I don't know. Cause, because it seems like anytime he talks about responsibility or why he can't do, why he can't do, his neck starts going twisty like that. Not like me, though. That isn't what happened with me. That's what should have happened with me. I should have been forced to go and get a goddamn job because it's now severely affecting everything about my life. Your wife or your life? It should be your life. But yeah, Rev, I agree with you. Your mom really ruined it for you. You know, I bet at the time you thought, hey, this is great. I got money and everything and I'm pretty set up. But it wasn't so great, right? I mean, G-Man told me you couldn't even stay in that house. And hey, I understand, man. I can understand. You lost a, a parent, and I'm sure that must suck, okay? I'm not talking about that, but I'm saying I can understand the pain of that, okay? But still, you know, you should have learned from your mother's mistakes. She didn't want to bring you to a doctor because she thought that they were going to, you know, go into your brain and stuff. Your mom was mental, mentally sick, unfortunately. But that's okay. A lot of people's moms are. You know, no judgments here. I'm just stating the facts. She she was a little mental. And she yeah, she should have. She should have set you up with something. College, something. That type of money, she could have put you in a, even, a, a, you know, a um, regular college, you know, a, a county college, anything. This way, you would have had some stable income coming in all the time. You just had a big lump sum, and now that's gone, and now you're learning life again. And I'm sorry, man. That does suck for you. That sucks for you. It does. Because you're mentally still a child. But how many times do you got to hear that from people online before you understand, okay, I'm still mentally a child. Maybe I should go back to school. Maybe I should uh, go to college and get a job and see what that feels like. You know, if everyone else has to work, Rev, why why don't you? But yeah, I, I agree though. I agree with Rev in this instance. His mother failed him. <laughs> it's, I, I'm an idiot, guys. I'm stupid. Yeah, right, Christy? Um, Seminary school, exactly. I have no adult skills. <laughs> yeah, none. Force yourself now. Yeah, I probably should. Because I, I can't do this anymore. To my, I can't live this way anymore. I just, I don't understand though, folks. You know, if 
if he didn't have a dad and it was just him and his mother, he has no siblings, you would have thought like, what, all right, me personally, when I was a kid and my father was working, I had a younger brother, so he couldn't do anything. And my mom wasn't really uh, tech savvy. So when I was young, I'd be the one putting stuff together at seven, eight, nine years old, because my brain just could do that. You know, that was my ADD. I knew how to put things together. I'd look at the box and be like, oh, is that how it has to look like? I even, I took the directions and threw them away. Like, whatever. <laughs> That's their guidelines of what they, of how to do it. I, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. And it was like a game, like a puzzle. And that sucks that Rev can't do that. Can't put like a, a, you know, a um, dresser together or anything like that. Can't even like change a tire, change oil, you know, like that, that he, I don't even know how he can even refer to himself as a man because this is stuff that I've had to do because I wanted to drive when I was younger and I didn't have the money to bring my car to a shop, you know, and, and, and get, you know, uh, taking over the coals for uh, you know, a $30 oil change, that'd be 150 bucks. I had to learn all that stuff myself, but I'm glad I did because I kept, I've had that knowledge now forever that I can pass on to my own children. And I feel like with Rev, he, his mom didn't pass on nothing to him. I mean, even if she taught him how to bake any, anything, any trade is better than nothing, anything. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I guess that was all with that video. But yeah, you guys should check out that channel. It's called uh, uh, Graveyard Flowers. They got some uh, decent stuff for uh, for uh, you know for Shani. <laughs> um. Okay. Final thoughts. Because I, I just wanted to. I just wanted to get this out before uh, before it goes away. Because who knows. Um. I hear what people are saying. They, they are definitely getting getting boring. I want to change some stuff up in the next coming weeks. Um, there's a lot of crime stuff going on, and I, I want to dissect that as much as dissecting Shani and Rev. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you would want to see on a true crime way, uh, you know, something true crime related, because we can all check it out and see how that works. But that's... That's all for tonight, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for uh, just likes and subbing and being a member. And just thanks for understanding me. Because sometimes I don't even understand me. But like I'll tell you guys all the time that I am, I try to understand people and I try to be as fair as possible. And sometimes that hurts me later on. But you know what? I hope one day people will turn around and be like, I think that guy Draven was really trying. Because I understand, like, it's just, it's not worth it to be mean to people all the time or, or, you know, not give people a chance or to be a wrench hog and just time people out. It's just, it's stupid. You know what I mean? It's just stupid crap. <laughs> and I feel bad for these people. They don't have nothing going on in their life. You know, if, if having a YouTube wrench is the, the, the highlight of their day, they need to go outside and, you know, <laughs> look at the sky and, you know take a walk but that's all thank you guys for um everything and i will see you on the next one and as always you know ha ha <laughs> but yeah good night all and i'll see you in the next one peace